Yo, what's up guys, it's Technogel back here and today in this video, I'll show you how can you configure your VS code on your Windows machine in order to work with your C or C++ code files. So I have a really simple C program right here that prints hello world and if I try to run this program, it does not run. It throws an error saying GCC is not recognized as an internal or external command. So this is basically happening because for C or C++, we need individual compilers of each. GCC is the global C compiler, which is used for compiling C codes and G++ is used for compiling C++ codes. Windows machines do not come pre-installed with these compilers, so we need to manually install them. So for that, you have to download and install MinGW. So browse up for MinGW, go to the official website that's SourceForge and simply hit the download button. With that, your downloader should start with the download and once done, simply open the file and there you just need to hit install. Let the directory be as it is and click continue. And now basically the installation files will be downloaded from the server to your machine. And once the download is complete, hit continue and now you'll get a new pop-up on your screen that lets you choose which components of MinGW do you want to install. If you just want to use C programming or C++, right click and choose the developer tools for installation and then choose whichever compiler you want for example gcc and g that's all we need for c but in case you are doing this for the first time i would recommend you that just choose everything mark it as installation and then go to the installation tab and hit apply changes with this basically what you have selected here are the components they'll start being downloaded and then installed onto your machine and once the installation is complete, you'll get this close button. So click close and you can now shut off this installer window. So with that, we have installed the MinGW compiler. It works for both C and C++. The basic default directory where it's installed is your drive C. Head up to MinGW, open the first folder bin and then copy this particular address. We need to configure with Windows that this is a compiler that we have installed. And for setting it up, go to your Windows and then just check for your system about. Over there, head up to advanced system settings and on the advanced tab, head up to environment variables. On the bottom section, you can see system variables. Click path, click edit. And on the right, you can choose new and simply paste that directory in here. Once done, hit OK, OK and OK. That's it. We have installed and configured the compiler. Now we just need to cross check whether everything is good or not. For that, open up your command prompt or your Windows terminal or PowerShell, anything. And then just type in GCC space double dash version. Hit enter and then you should get something like this where it says GCC the command that you have called and then the version which you have installed the same can be done for g plus plus as well you should get a good output once done you are good to go now just restart your vs code and your code should start working fine so i have opened the same code again i'll go and choose run code and you can see this time it's giving a proper output hello world and as soon as i run the code an executable file gets created automatically so even if I delete it off, I head up to terminal and from there I manually compile the code. So for compiling through terminal, we write in GCC and then file name with the file extension. So as soon as I compile this a.exe file is generated and now we basically need to access this a.exe file. So we do dot slash a.exe, the file extension. And again, we get the output hello world. So that's it, how you are supposed to install MinGW on your machine. The same method will work for both C and C++. And for those of you wondering, how do I have this run button right here? For this, basically go to the extension tab and search there for code runner. This is the extension that brings you this particular run button. Without this, you'll have to manually go to the terminal, create a new terminal, and then head up to the directory and then manually compile and execute the code. With a code runner, you can simply go to the top, run code, and you get the output. So that's it for this video. If you're facing any issues, comment down, I'll help you out. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.